I'm going to try to do this again without uh, sneezing. This is uh, Larry BL, and uh, I ripped the wiring harness out of the uh, the red mower. No, not really. I just happen to have a complete wiring harness laying here. I'm sure all of us do. Um, this particular wiring harness uh, helps point out a few things. Uh, where we have the connection to the battery that goes straight to the solenoid as we uh, pointed out earlier this is a dual terminal solenoid one wire is white, one wire is black normally on your wiring harness white, white wires are usually routed through safety switches okay so without tracing the wires if we notice we have some white wires on this connector we also have some white wires on this connector. So that probably tells me that this connector went to a manual PTO, which would be lever driven, but it would have a safety switch. And this connector, more than likely because of its length, would have went to the clutch safety switch. We have another couple connectors here. This one has multi-collared wires on it. So this tells me it probably plugged into the stator or the alternator on the tractor and by looking at the color of the wires where we have a orange wire and a gray wire it's probably dual mode stator. This connector more than likely went back to the seat to plug into the seat safety switch. Moving over here we have a long wire which tells me it more than likely went to where the headlights would have plugged in on this tractor and it also has a ground. Coming back we have the amp meter and then down here we have the key switch where everything pretty much comes together. Okay, On a lot of tractors you may find mystery connectors such as this where you have a single wire, a blue wire in case here, going to a connector with a loop. Hmm, I wonder what that does and then you may have some mystery connectors that really don't go anywhere. Uh, for your particular tractor you may want to pull up your manual and look at your wiring diagram because uh, this may be for some sort of accessory that didn't come with your tractor. So overall this is pretty much how a standard wiring harness looks uh, on a particular garden tractor. Thank you.